Okay, folks, Thanksgiving is getting ready to come up. Look, you gotta have them side dishes, right? So we are gonna do all of the traditional, you know, proteins, but today I'm gonna show you how to make these cheesy, listen, they're gonna be over the top too. It's just a cheesy garlic scallop potatoes. Now let's get it. Okay, so the look, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and preheat our oven, right? We are gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so you guys can see all of the ingredients that you know we're gonna use. And don't forget, on my website, you can get the full printable recipe along with the instructions on there. And that's smoking and grilling with AB, and that's WITAB.com. Now look, when you see me, what I'm doing right now is just grading it. I already explained to you the difference between, you know, grading your own or buying it, right? But the thing is, you got the two different sides too. So don't forget, you can go ahead and uh, grade it small. If you grate them on the small side, they melt even better. Okay, folks, so look, I already got my potatoes and everything washed, scrubbed, and did all of that, right? So I'm gonna be using this mandolin. Please use it the proper way. They come with these safety devices on top, you know, so that you don't cut yourself, right? So we just wanna do one eighth of an inch thick, right? So let me just show it to you like that. Love it. Now, you can peel yours or you don't have to peel them. Obviously, I elect not to peel them. I'm just gonna go ahead and just layer them like I'm supposed to, but I'm gonna just leave these here and now we are gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so look, let me double back. Now, after I, you know, got these sliced down about an eighth inch thick, right? So what I did was I put them in here, but I wanted to tell you guys, you guys gotta rinse them, right? So I rinsed them. You can see, look at my water down here. You can see I got as much starch off of it as I could. Now, we don't want these to like turn brown or nothing like that, right? So. I just go ahead and just fill it with a little bit of water, right? I'll just set it right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and start melting our butter because we're getting ready to make our cheese sauce, right? So we got our onions done, all of our cheese grated. And there we go. Okay, so you see it's melted. Now we're gonna come with our flour, right? So again, you know I love making a roux and this is the beginning of the makings of doing a roux, right? So we just wanna cook that, you know, that flour taste out let it absorb some of that buttery, you know, goodness, right? And letting it go for about one minute. And don't forget, the full ingredient list along with the instructions is on my website. Now, when you get to like this right here, if you got a, like a medium, I'm right at about what I would consider a medium flame, right? Now we wanna go ahead and just bring our onions. We're gonna get these and cook these down and let them absorb some of that, some of that flavor too, right? Okay, so after we give the onions a little bit of a head start, We'll let those cook. I like to do it like this. Now we're getting ready to add that garlic to it, right? And here we go. Now we getting to, you know, this is like the start of like what I say, something great, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and add, I'm using chicken broth. You guys, you know what? I'm gonna talk about something that I normally don't use that often, but you know what? We could use veg vegetable broth also. You know what I mean? But this right here works great. And when I tell you it works great, it works great with this cheese sauce that we making. So once you get it right here, it's gonna try to like thicken up on you. You know what I mean? You can always adjust your, you know, your heat, right? But this is where we wanna season a little bit. So I give it a couple of generous pinches of salt. You know what I mean? Just still watching my intake on the salt, right? I got that in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and come with my fresh black cracked pepper. We put the salt and pepper in there. I just tasted it. We 90% there, right? But you see this right here? This is my A seasoning. It's on my website also. I'm not trying to push no products on you. I'm just letting you know what I use. You know what I mean? And I stand by what I've talked about. Low sodium, add just a little bit just to kick it up. And then you wanna just add a little bit more flavor to it, right? So we just keep going like this. And then I'm gonna taste it again. If this is right, you know what I mean? I move on to the next step, which would be my heavy cream. So now we come with our heavy cream. I want to get this in here and we want to incorporate it and we're going to cook that. Now we're getting ready to add some of this cheese in here, right? Now, let me give the heads up and the pro tip when it comes to making a cheese sauce. When you make your cheese sauce, you got to make sure that you on like a low heat. It's enough heat in here to make it, you know, melt, right? And if you look, I melted this. I mean, I shredded this right here. Look how thin they are. I used the small side of the grater. Over here, I went a little thicker. That's me rushing, right? But I would have liked for it all to have been this way. Remember, the smaller it is, the easier, you know, it melts. Now, I just start bringing this in here like this, and I got the fire underneath me extremely low, right? If you do it and it's too hot, you'll notice as you, you know, running this around this way, like you'll start seeing cheese start to follow around where it clumps up, right? So I just add a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. I'm on a super low 
you know, flame. Okay, now listen, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll put my apron here to have something dark, right? You can see the little bit of steam there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off now. I don't want it to bubble or do nothing like that because I'm telling you it's enough heat to melt this, you know, this cheese, right? So this will be the last that I put in. I put in about two cups. I brought my 13 by nine back into play. Remember, we already sprayed it, so it's greased and ready to go. What I'm getting ready to do now is I'm gonna drain this water off of here. And you can see that it got a little bit starting to brown. That's because I didn't put it in a big enough bowl where I can get it completely, you know, submerged. But let me just get some rid of this water and then we're getting ready to layer. So now we're just gonna go ahead and layer, right? I just put them, man, to be honest with you, you put them any kind of way you want to. These scalloped potatoes, folks. I'm gonna leave these bigger ones, you know, for the top. You know what I mean? Or you can put them in however you want to. That's just me trying to think, like, how can I be fancy? So you should look like that. I don't want to make it too thick. You know what I mean? Uh, we just want to get it, get some cover, you know, get a layer down here, right? This part would be a little bit more tricky. You know what I mean? Because we got to put some sour cream on here. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of like using my, my finger to like hold them because you can just like wipe them and move them around, right? So if you find that happening, let me just move this like this. And I got it, it's a little bit of a process, but I promise you, after you make them like this, you know what I mean, uh, your family gonna request these. So if I was you, hey, trust your boy, make this, you know, double this recipe, get yourself a scoop, and then look, I just layer it and just do it like this, right? You just wanna get it covered, then we gonna pour the rest over the top, and we gonna let that just touch everywhere that we did not get, right? But look at that right there. And then if you look at that spoon, you can see a little bit of garlic, onion, whew. All right, so when you look like that, now just get me a little bit of this, just put a little cheese here. What you just saw was me hitting it with three different types of cheeses, right? We had cheddar, pepper jack, right? And then I went ahead and then did that little fine sprinkle over the top with that parm. Now I'm gonna quit running my mouth. You know, I don't wanna over talk that. I don't have to. Right now, y'all probably trying to figure out like, let me get to the end. You know what I mean? So we just gonna go ahead and layer it, right? Once we are done with that, we finna repeat the process. And so I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let you guys watch and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you can see we layered up and ready to go, right? This is foil. Don't forget, shiny side goes up, right? I ain't gonna tuck it like that. We just wanna protect that cheese and keep some of that heat in the inside, right? So I'll put this over here like this. Now we're getting ready to go in that oven. We're gonna go in for about, remember it's already at 400 degrees, right? So I think I'm gonna go in for about an hour and a half, right? But we'll check it along the way. But an hour and a half usually does it at 400 degrees. That's fire. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, folks, so look at that right there. You hear the music, you know when you hear that music, you know it's going down, right? You know it's a whole lot of, you know, creamy, garlicky, cheesy ingredients going down with these scalloped potatoes. Now, for those of you guys ain't never met them like this, made them like this, I know what you're doing. You're making it for the first time, but you'll be back, folks. And with that being said, I'm gonna be quiet and let you take it all in. Now I want y'all to take a look at my face. When I tell you this is over the top, top is over the top. Now I gotta say this, remember I said it's a caution to this. You make this, you can never ever go back. I'ma just leave it like that. So with that being said, don't forget to go by my website, check it out, Smoking and Grilling with AB. Don't forget that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? For the full ingredient lease with instruction. And guess what folks, it's you know printable. Now with that being said, if you're new to my channel, I'm gonna keep it real brief. I want you to like, subscribe, and, and tell it to the whole world. And with that being said, you know how I do. I ain't got no fork, I'ma go ahead and drop it, and I'm out, peace.